So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Alright, now today for our build we're going to be using Swarmers with Strand Warlock. Now this build is absolutely insane guys, definitely going to want to check out the full video to know everything that's going on. But for our weapons we're going to be using Quicksilver Storm due to high build synergy. We're going to be using a Trace Rifle for those Overload Champions. And an Arc Rocket is doing some crazy damage with the Surge lasting all season. You're also also gonna need shadow grenades for those unstoppable champions and with that being said let's hop right into the guide all right today we got a really fast one for you guys this is such a good farm so the first thing we're gonna do when we head in is we're gonna throw our melee and literally everything is gonna fall over because this build is absolutely insane uh, specifically for ad clear as you can see then we are just gonna finish off the rest of them with our quicksilver storm now we have our shackle grenade right here, so that is gonna that is our only way of dealing with unstoppable champions. We also have our little tangles that we can explode. I, I really recommend watching the build video before watching this because there's just so much going on here. Uh, but basically, those tangles can also stun the unstoppable. Now, unfortunately, the tangle explosion didn't actually hit him; it landed on the roof of the cave, as you saw. So we ended up just short throwing our shackle grenade, which is absolutely fine. Now the unstoppable is so low, so we're just going to get him a little bit lower and then we can get the finisher. Now we're just going to clear out a couple of adds and then we can proceed forward. Now when we move forward, there's going to be an overload champion and an unstoppable champion and a bunch of adds. First thing we're going to do is clear out those adds, then we'll deal with the unstoppable, then we'll deal with the overload. Now you saw there, I just ate my grenade and what that does is it creates a suspending blast. Now sometimes those adds that I was talking about, they're actually right next to the unstoppable. So you'll kill one of the adds and then the unstoppable will actually get stunned and that is absolutely fantastic. But we also have a tangle here so we're going to throw that. Hopefully that hits the overload. It doesn't. It goes right past him. So at this point in time we have no way of stunning this unstoppable but our nade just came back up because we do have the fragment that gives us grenade energy for getting damage off which is really excellent on sustained damage like our auto rifle. Now you saw he was suspended, but he didn't get stunned, so we weren't doing much damage to him. Sometimes that'll happen, guys. Really weird, really inconsistent sometimes. Don't really know what's up with that, but it's no problem at all. As you saw, we were able to just throw our shackle grenade again and get him really low. Now, you'll notice how quickly we are running through this. I mean, after we deal with this overload, we'll already be in the boss room. Now, the goal of these videos isn't to speed run by any means. I'm purposefully taking my time so that I can have this commentary and explain everything to you guys. But if you were speedrunning this, you could probably do it in two minutes. Like, this is one of the best Lost Sectors to farm in the game. So for dealing for this Overload, we're just going to use our Trace Rifle. I mean, it's really simple. Throwing your Shackle Grenade will make it so he's not shooting at you. Uh, the thing about this Overload is that he actually has these, like, stasis rounds that slow you down. It's really, really annoying, so I do recommend actually suspending him. But yeah, now we're in the boss room, so there's just going to be a couple of ads to deal with. I believe there's about eight of them. Just scions though, and they do duplicate if you don't kill them fast enough. So definitely, oh they're not scions, they're thrall. But either way, yeah, you're going to want to deal with them as fast as possible. And then after that, you could just proceed up here. Now what I recommend is eating your grenade here, and just going into your GL mode, as that's going to suspend everything. Now keep in mind, including the overload, if you kill all but one of these enemies up here, the boss will actually spawn. So I do recommend killing the overload so that you're not dealing with the overload and a boss. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, if we kill two more enemies, the boss will spawn, regardless of if the overload is dead or not. So I do like to take care of the overload and just leave one of those uh, one of those lesser enemies alive. And to do that, yeah, we're just going to the combination of some rockets and some trace rifle damage. We'll take care of him really, really easily, guys. And you see we don't have many rockets, so we're going to have to use a bit of Quicksilver on the boss. The boss is, you can't see it, but the boss is actually spawning right now. I'm going to throw our Tangle to get some damage off. Now, obviously there is a Strand Surge all season, so... Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> now, if you saw what happened just there, we got slowed, and the combination of the boss damage plus the slow was able to take us down. So definitely going to want to slot on some Solar Resistance mods. But I'm just going to leave that in so that you can be aware of that. The slow is a common theme in this lost sector. going to throw our rocket, 
Two rockets and a super was enough to deal with the boss, and we still had a fast clear despite the one death, so it's definitely a run worth sharing, you guys. Today's Lost Sector is so easy, so fast, definitely gonna wanna hop in as soon as possible and take advantage. And that's gonna be the guide, guys. Don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.